Hey everyone, what's up? It's Erin Elise, and today I am leaving Arizona. I stayed with a friend last night, but now I'm going to be flying solo for the next couple weeks in the van. This is what she looks like after one week of adventures. So yeah, we're just going to ignore that for now, and we're just going to get on the road. I'm driving from the Phoenix area to Joshua Tree National Park. It's just under a five hour drive, so nothing too crazy today. I didn't get too far until I had to stop and get gas. The gas station was right next to a Walmart, so I decided to go in and grab my groceries for the week. I needed some snackies, but I also wanted to get some easy box dinners that I could make at the campsite. I made a quick lunch for myself, and it was the world's driest peanut butter bagel. It was great, and then I kept driving. I just got to my campsite and it's so cute and really sunny, but let's check it out. I got right to work cleaning out the van. And here she is all pretty but then i decided well i should probably put it into the sleeping mode so this is where i have to put out my little extension piece if you've seen my van build video you know how this works but yep just really quick and easy and i get out the extra panel so i have a full size twin bed It's gonna be cold tonight, so I have to use the sleeping bag. It's already cold. Let's make dinner. <laughs> Thank you. 
So my food's almost done, but oh my god. In the last 20 minutes, like the sky is gorgeous. Also, I realized that this recipe needs milk and like butter and ground beef and I have none of those things. So I have water and the packet that it comes with. So let's see how it is. Okay, I probably didn't need all of the powder. That would have helped. So food, not the best, but the view. Wow. So cute. I'm just boiling some water now for my hot water bottle so that I can get my sleepy bag all nice and toasty. All right, so it is seven and it's already completely dark outside. So I am going to be in the van for the rest of the night. I have some editing to do on my computer. So I am just cuddled up for the night and I'm gonna edit until I fall asleep. Honestly, I've been going, going, going since I left home. So I'm gonna sleep really good tonight. I have to work pretty early in the morning tomorrow, depending on the cell service I can get here, I might have to like go to a cafe because I have a couple of meetings tomorrow morning. But yeah, it'll be an early morning and hopefully I don't freeze. <laughs> Okay, so I just got to Starbucks and now I'm gonna be here. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna be here for like three or four hours today. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do after, but I have some meetings I have to go to. So let's do it. Okay, so it is now 8.30 and I was in that Starbucks for a while and it was the loudest Starbucks I've ever been to like it was super tiny so there's only like one little area and um yeah just super loud and I felt like I was going crazy so I'm gonna do one more meeting in the parking lot and then I'm done with work today at this point I needed more gas so I went ahead and got some and I desperately needed to clean the windows of the van And again, the gas station was right next to Walmart. So there were a couple of things that I forgot. I needed like paper towels and like just some random stuff. So I went and got that and headed back to the campsite. I ended up switching it back to the lounge mode so that I have like a little area to hang out in today. And then I went through all of my snacks and figured out what I want to eat for lunch. I'm going to have a super random lunch so that I can get rid of like some of this random stuff so okay this is kind of embarrassing but i don't have salt or pepper or any spices in the van 
um i do have like these salted chickpeas so i put them on top of my toast as salt it's kind of good So now I'm gonna edit for the next couple hours. I'm gonna enjoy my beautiful view. And then I have all of my cooking stuff all in a pile over there, ready to go for dinner. And then I'll probably go on like a little trail or walk before I make dinner and then go to bed. So another really chill day. Not every day, you know, there's time for doing a bunch of fun adventure stuff. So today is definitely chill. Yeah. I like to keep everything that I own with me in the van, so I put all of my food stuff underneath here, and then this is what I'm going to be making for dinner. Okay, so I'm all cozied in for the night, and I figured I would show you what the inside of the van looks like when I'm like sleeping in it. First off, I got my window covers on to keep away the creepies and for a little bit of extra insulation. I got my winter sleeping pack. I got food. And I keep a hot water bottle at my feet so that my feet don't freeze. So my bed goes out to here. I have my laptop for editing tonight. I have my Jackery to charge my phone. And I have um, these like hand warmers that I might use tonight. I have water, tea, my candelier, and tissues. And I just put like a little blanket over there to kind of like keep the windows covered. Here is more of a zoomed out look. It's pretty big. Like I, my feet fully extend. I can like sit comfortably. It's like really spacious. It's got my stuff. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing the boring parts of van life. Going to work, driving a lot, and cooking kind of crappy meals so yeah i love it i think it's fun and thank you so much for watching give me a like and a comment if you want